Well, it's Friday. It means it's time to review some movies. Michael Cook can't be here with us, so it's my job to review those two movies. But Michael Cook is joining us via Zoom this morning. Thank the Lord he's here through Zoom. Good morning, Michael. Good morning. Good morning, Pat. Uh, let's talk about Bullet Train okay. first. This is a new movie opening today at theaters. It stars Brad Pitt. He is one of five assassins on a bullet train from Tokyo to Kyoto, Japan. Uh, and all of these assassins seemingly have different missions, but yet as the story moves on, it's clear that they're all interlocked in various fashions. Brad Pitt's character, he's not really an assassin, he's more of a an assassin's, you know, Aaron guy, as it were. His whole job is to pick up a case, get off at the next stop. Of course, being a movie, it doesn't go that way, mm. and he's having to fight for his life while at the same time trying to fight off different assassins and all trying to figure out now why is this person trying to kill that person? Uh, the great cast with Joey King, Sandra Bullock as Brad Pitt's handler, uh, Aaron Taylor Johnson, Brian. I mean, it's just an all-star cast of people who are just phenomenal at what they do. And you, lo I love the interplay and some of the banter with each other. A lot of good dialogue. The problem with this film, uh -oh. it is just too overstuffed too convoluted in all these characters and plot lines and you just are lost at various times it kind of felt like the the director went to film quentin tarantino film school and a dollop of john wick and some other films and then just tried to create his own uh mixture of a film and it just doesn't quite work i'm not giving it a horribly bad review but some of the the dialogue and the acting from the from the various actors make up for some of the shortcomings of this film so all in all i have to give this film a uh i'll give it a seven out of ten okay uh it's it's just an okay film a lot of style a lot of sizzle but not a whole lot of substance to really you know really grab onto. but a lot of good acting though. do you need to watch it more than once to really figure out what all happened I wouldn't recommend seeing this twice. <laughs> <laughs> okay. See, do something else with your life. <laughs> all right. Now, the other one you're going to review is Everything, Everywhere, All at Once. So hurry up. <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah, exactly. All, all at once. This movie is on, uh, you can rent it on Amazon Prime and other streaming platforms. Uh, came out earlier this year. Stars Michelle Yeoh. She's a Chinese immigrant living in, in the U.S. She, she and her husband own a failing laundromat. They're under a tax audit. Her and her daughter are having problems. She's having problems with her grandfather. That's the basic storyline. But this movie is absolutely wonderfully crazy in that all of a sudden she finds herself in multiverses. Uh -oh. And it turns out she's the only one, apparently, who can defeat a, a villain who's trying to destroy all of these universes. Uh, Jamie Lee Curtis, of course, is in this movie as a tax auditor who just gives her hell in all of these universes in, in various forms, uh, in, in different ways. Michelle Yeoh is fan absolutely fantastic. She uh, has a lot of action seeing, and, you know, she's pushing 60 and still just does amazing uh, in this movie. Her husband is played by the, the young man who was short round in Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. So really? He's, it's good to see him back on the big screen. This movie, it's a little bit difficult to describe because of the multiverses and the, the different jumps. And, and like the last movie, it can be very complicated. However, it's easier to follow. And there's a lot of emotional impact, a lot of, there, there's some stories behind all of this action. And you realize at the end of the day, it's partly a mother-daughter story. And, uh, uh, a, 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 you know, being the leader of a dysfunctional family, all families are have their quirks and, and different things about them. And I just absolutely loved this movie. I can't recommend it enough. Uh, Michelle Yeoh is fantastic. Fantastic, and she plays different characters in different universes. She's a movie star in one. She's she has hot dog fingers in another crazy <laughs> universe. Uh, but just just a brilliant movie. I highly recommend recommend uh, renting this movie on Amazon Prime. So all in all, I'll give this a nine out of ten. Whoa, really, really, really good movie. Really, like I said, you have to stick with it a little bit because it gets a little crazy, but it's well worth it. Why did this not go to the theaters? Do you have any idea? It, it, it actually, it, it was in Little Rock theaters, and it just left. Oh. Uh, this week, but it's actually, you can still rent it on Amazon uh, and, and iTunes and other things like that. Okay, well, cool. Sounds pretty good, Michael. Thank you very much. Yeah.